What's going on guys? It's B Lamb and yes, we are playing Mario Kart Tour. This is the first time in six months that I'm actually doing Mario Kart Tour content. And you know, I figured that, well, guess what? We have a new tour and it's finally based on a real world location. The last time they did this was like several months ago. They did all kinds of different themes like pirate tour and a cooking tour, but we finally have an actual real world location tour. So I figured, you know what? Might as well show off the new course in the game because I still personally enjoy playing the game. And uh, you know, to see what updates uh, the game has to offer. Um, let's see, I'm actually gonna go Mario SS SNES, who is one of the new characters uh, that appear in the last tour, the Super Mario Kart tour. And we're gonna actually just, just see what this new track is all about. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Los Angeles laps is the new course here and this will be the very first time that i actually get to showcase the game in a widescreen format because before you know of course uh you guys saw just the black bars because uh, it was only in portrait mode but now it's in landscape mode let's go and check this out all right also the music is a bop like the music is so so nice it's so refreshing to have like such like like a brand new track, and uh, this course looks great. Like Mario Kart Tour, um, the graphics in, in the game, like it it does look really really nice um, for a mobile game as well. Like really, the games on iOS are capable of, of putting out some pretty good looking games. But yeah, Los Angeles. I think I think technically I have visited Los Angeles before. But not as like an actual, um, not for like an actual trip. We actually were going to Hawaii, and uh, Los Angeles just happened to be one of the stops there. And it was, um, I think it was at the Los Angeles Airport or International Airport or something like that. Um, so I never, we never actually took an actual trip to LA and like actually spent like meaningful time there. I've, we've only been there, we've only technically been there for like just just a little bit. Um, but one city that I did visit was, um, Oakland, actually. Um, I did actually take a trip to California by myself one time. It was actually a really, really, uh, actually a really nice story. Um, this is the first time that I actually traveled by myself. I mean, I did see, like, other people that I, that I personally knew. Um, but it was for the very first Smash Ultimate tournament called Genesis 6. And, uh, Genesis 6, it was the very first Super Major for Smash Ultimate, and I was like... You know, it's a brand new Smash game. I want to be part of history with this brand new game. And, you know, it was a really, really, ni really nice trip. And I got to travel for the very first time by myself, which is cool. Third place, though. Not bad. Not bad for our first race. But, um, yeah, this track is pretty, is, is pretty standard, honestly. The music is the best part of the track, uh, to be honest. This is also part of the Ranked Cup, which really is one of the best parts about the game. The ranked cup just allows you, it's just really competitive. And I'm at a pretty high tier, tier 41. There's a total of 50 tiers in the game. Um, but really this is what gets me going. It's like, it's really cool to rack up those combos by getting items, tricks, uh, t mini turbos, all kinds of stuff like that to, to boost your points and to boost your score. So let's see, we can go ahead and actually check out the other versions of the track. And, and see what improvements are made there. And I'll showcase some other characters as well. All right, Lost Angeles Laps R. Let's check it out. But yeah, Mario SNES, I, it was a cool addition because it's a 16-bit sprite, or rather 16-bit sprites that are used for like his animations and stuff, which I think is pretty cool. So it was cool that I, that I got to show off Mario SNES and he's actually right there beside me. But uh, next we're gonna uh, check out King bob who is also a new character. A new driver in this game and it's like seeing all these new characters it's like man it's like i mean i know that i'm gonna make the obligatory like put this in mario kart 9 or make this mario kart 8 Lux dlc but it would people are saying it for a reason it's like this is really really good content that that would make great money for nintendo in an, in an actual mainline mario kart game and i guess it makes sense why, I guess, to some extent, because Mario Kart 8 Deluxe on Switch is like the best-selling Switch game still. It's it's by far the best-selling Switch game, um, and it's and it has been pretty much ever since it came out. 
but um, I mean, like, it, it would just be really nice. I mean, or, you know, like, whether it's in 8 Deluxe DLC or or a new Mario Kart game, it would be absolutely amazing to see all this content that they've stuffed into Mario Kart Tour into an actual console game, because it would just be really cool. Okay, I tried to get away from that, uh, that Super Horn Invincible Wario. But yeah, I think that King the Bomb is a pretty cool addition uh, to the game, and so are some other characters that I'll show off in, in this video. Also, I'm not really the best at playing widescreen. I'm just doing it like this because, you know, it just makes the video look better. Um, but, uh, oh, watch out for the banana. Nice. Um, but I'm just uh, used to playing um, in portrait mode. But regardless, it doesn't matter because guess what, ladies and gentlemen? We got first place. First place, baby. Let's go. Let's take a look at the other two versions of the track of Los Angeles Laps. We're going to check out Los Angeles Laps T. Let's see which character I can showcase off now. Let's check out Hammer Bro. Hammer Bro is um, also a new character, obviously, right? I mean, this is kind of like the theme of, of the video, me showcasing off uh, all of these new characters that have, that have joined um, Mario Kart Tour. And Hammer Bro was cool too. Like Hammer Bro, when Hammer Bro actually got into the game, um, it was actually like the first time that a new character got in in a while because before they were using all kinds of reskins for existing characters in the game, like you know, like Mario, Toad, Peach, Daisy, what have you, Baby Rosalina, or whatever. They used all kinds of reskins, but like when Hammer Bro came, I'm like, you know, it makes sense because Mario Kart nowadays it has like a lot of uh. I guess enemies as his playable characters. Oh, come on, I hit Bowser Jr. But the banana still hit me from that point. But, uh, yeah, I think that so far, Los Angeles Laps T is my favorite version of the track because they basically just take the same track and add all kinds of um, tricks to it, pretty much. I mean, that's what the T stands for. All right. All right, get out the side stepper. All right, I mean, we can still catch up here. But I guess I guess I could take the time to actually talk about um, my plans in terms of future content. Um, so the main reason why I haven't been uploading, mainly because I'm actually getting ready to come back to streaming really, really soon. I know that uh, right now Super Mario 3D All-Stars is out. And in terms of content for this channel, I actually plan on uh, streaming again. Um, streaming that game. Um, and actually streaming on twitch.tv slash vlam, so be sure to follow me there um, Whenever I do come back to stream, you know, just like you guys uh, Support me here on YouTube by subscribing if you guys have a twitch account uh, Please go ahead and give me a follow because I do plan on coming back really really soon and streaming some 3d all-stars um, And as well as other games as well like Kirby fighters 2 came out. I'm super hyped for that So more content is coming definitely a lot of streaming is coming back uh, for the first time in over a year. And um, and I'll post highlights from those Twitch streams as well. But, I'll, but I'm getting ready to, you know, to hit the ground running with that pretty soon. So be sure to stay tuned for that. So now we got the final version of Los Angeles Laps, RT. We got RT. Um, that's reverse and trick. And we're going to showcase Nabbit. We're going to showcase Nabbit. Nabbit is awesome. Nabbit is an awesome new addition. It makes complete sense for him to be uh to be here um out of like the mario characters that like haven't appeared in, in a mario Kart game navit seems like a pretty obvious choice because after he made a splash in like new super mario brothers u i mean he i mean he's pretty recognizable even among like you know uh among non-mario diehards i guess like even if you're not super into the mario series you kind of still recognize navit because he's in smash for 3ds and wii or smash for wii u and he's also in Smash Ultimate as a stage hazard. He just has a, just has a very, um, just has a sort of charm to him, I guess. You know, and he has a recognizable design as well. Makes sense. The music is cool though. I mean, typically the new music, um, it it ranges from being good, um, from being good to like average. Like Tokyo Blur's music is good too, but like this music is chill, man. I really like this music. Like I like whenever I first saw the trailer. I was like, I have to add this to my uh, playlist because I was like, you know, I was bopping my head to it. Oh, I didn't mean to throw that red shell for it, but I'm doing pretty good. 
uh, held first place for pretty much most of that race. Uh, who's that behind me? Dixie Kane? We got Dixie Kong. Another one of the new characters. That makes sense to add. Like, we got a good amount of new... It, it's crazy that Mario Kart Tour, that a mobile Mario Kart game has the best roster of any Mario Kart game. It's actually crazy. Just wait until they bring a, one of the crossover characters uh, to the game. Like, like Kirby or Link or Captain Falcon or Inkling or whoever, you know? Like, that would truly be the best of all time. Like, it, it already is the best roster because of these new characters that they added. And bringing back um, characters that haven't been in Mario Kart for such a long time. Like Diddy Kong and Roberto and Funky Kong and characters like that. But... I think it's really cool, and I still enjoy playing this game. It's still, it's, it's, it's just fun just to... Oh, what? Donkey Kong Jr. just randomly passed me up at the last second and stole my first place. Whatever, Donkey Kong Jr. Whatever, bro. Uh, whatever, bro. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, I think it's still I, it's still fun to pop in and play. It's 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 Mario Kart Tour is a nice game to just chill out with, and if you accept it for what it is, it's it really isn't anything like too crazy. And it's like you, you know you just pop it in, you just sit back, relax, don't really worry about getting certain characters. Just just you know just play Mario Kart on your phone, you know, and just chill. But yeah, that is gonna be it for the Los Angeles tour, guys. That is every single version of uh, of this new track. I figured that I would just you know again. Bring back the Mario Kart Tour content for a little bit. I know that it's it may not, it may not be the most interesting content um, a lot of the time because it really depends on what Nintendo decides to add into the game. But I figured you know you know it's a new actual real world location tour. Um, I shared you know uh, updates for the channel. I kind of shared my little story of, of traveling to California. Um, and it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool you know doing some Mario Kart Tour content. And if you actually want more Mario Kart tour content let me know in the comments but yeah that's gonna be it for this video guys if you enjoyed watching and i made your day at least a little bit better be sure to hit the like button to let me know subscribe to the channel for more content and ring the bell so that you don't miss out on my uploads that being said thank you guys so much for watching as always i greatly appreciate it take care have a blessed day and i'll see you next time